Hello everybody and welcome to our new video training package of Abacus. Composite fatigue simulation with UMAT subroutine in Abacus, a comprehensive and example-oriented package for advanced Abacus and finite element users. Let's look at its content in this 10 minutes demo. If you want to start analyzing your project in Abacus, it is better to save your time by watching this demo and making your decision easier. Do not waste your time watching amateur and weak videos on YouTube. This package contains one lesson and one workshop in more than 60 minutes. And here I will present you the syllabus of workshop and we can see some selected parts of them. In lesson main below questions are discussed. When do you need to use composite fatigue subroutine? How does this subroutine work? Which theories are needed for composite fatigue subroutine? In this training workshop, we will examine fatigue in composite modeling. Fatigue of composite materials in Abacus software is done by subroutines. In this package, we want to teach you how to apply fatigue using UMAT subroutine. In this training package, you will learn when to use subroutine writing for composite material fatigue and how this subroutine works, as well as the theories of composite material fatigue that subroutine writing requires. We express theories such as for the damage of composite materials and the theory of fatigue of composite materials. Experimental tests are also required to implement the fatigue of composite materials. How to perform the tests and how the results are briefly discussed in this package. Finally, through different workshops and different types of subroutines such as UMAT and VUMAT, you will learn how to write subroutines and use them for the fatigue of composite structures. To use this package, you first need to learn how to write UMAT and VUMAT subroutine. So, there is a package with this title in the website shop that you can prepare. If you have purchased this current package, you can benefit from the purchase discount offer of UMAT and the UMAT packages. To get the discount, you need to send your purchase request to the address support at caassistant.com to be given a discount coupon through site support. The current package is the fatigue of composite materials by subroutines in Abacus. Then to improve your knowledge and write various other subroutines, you can use Advanced Subroutine Writing Package in Abacus. In this package, you will learn all the tips and theories and how to simulate step-by-step -step through about 60 minutes of instructional video. The special feature of this package is that you can write the specialized subroutines you want to use workshops and exercises. All the required files, including subroutines and Abacus files, will be provided to you by purchasing this package. Let's start training. The first question is, when do you need this subroutine for composite fatigue? You can use this subroutine to calculate the final life of your composite structure. In addition, you can calculate step-by-step -step the degradation of structural properties in a certain number of loading cycles, including elasticity, mechanical, or strength properties. Also, if you have damage to your fibers or matrix in tension or pressure, you can observe the damage in static loading or during cyclic loading and obtain damage index number. 
Note that different outputs such as strain and stress and their cycle number can be observed in the graphical environment of the software. Also, structural behavior of model can be seen in the certain cycle number. The general way the subroutine of composite fatigue works is according to the flowchart that you see in the slide. At the beginning of the work, problem inputs will be entered. If we want to show the formula for the diagram for strength and properties, it will be according to equation 2 and 3. In equation 2, the coefficients will be alpha and beta, and in equation 3, lambda and gamma, but the general shape of their graph is same. The difference is in the use of strength and elastic modulus. In equation 2, we use the stress which is cognate with strength. By obtaining the points and the method of curve fitting, the coefficients in different cases are obtained. After obtaining different parameters, we can use them in fatigue subroutine of composite materials. Note that these parameters are very important for calculations and we use them based on the theory of Chauvier. We are dealing with a workshop on composite material fatigue. UMass subroutine is used here. In this subroutine, the shell element is examined with periodic loading. There are different methods for examining the fatigue of composite materials. One of these methods is that the load increases linearly. After reaching the maximum value, the fatigue rate is examined at different times. But the method we have in this workshop, each step when it represents a number of cycles, the load entered for it will be considered in a very specific way. In other words, there is no simplification for load application. The problem we are examining is on a sample with specified dimensions. This sample is completely fixed on one side and the load is applied on the other side where there are two holes. Note that the load occurs perfectly symmetrically from minus 2 mm to 2 mm per cycle. Mechanical properties, including elasticity, are given in the following table. First, like other subroutines, it is necessary to copy and paste the subroutine interface from the software documentation in Fortran software at the beginning. You can see it in this section. After that, it is necessary to write all the parameters used in the subroutine with appropriate accuracy. So, the real star 4 command is used for all the parameters used. Then we need to introduce the required variables that are equal to the numerical value. Let's move on to the calculation in the current increment. If fiber failure occurs, check the fiber damage number using the specified subroutine. This matrix is located at the end of the main subroutine. You can see that the inputs of the stress problem will be mentioned in different directions and other cases. In the next section, we will discuss how to implement subroutine in Abacus software. In this workshop, I will talk about the simulation of composite fatigue based on UMAT subroutine. The geometrical dimensions has been mentioned in presentation, so I have modeled it as you see. It's notable that this subroutine has been written based on shell type element. Because the thickness is small in comparison uh, to other dimensions. 
Thus, from Create Part, choose 3D Space, Deformable Type, Shell, and Planner Type. We can see other things like strength parameters, for example, state variables number 15 to 18 and 21 present a strength. In state variable number 15, I want to see property reduction rate over the different cycles. Also, we can plot state V15 over the cycle numbers. So, from Operate on XY Data, select Combine and select STV15 and STV80. I hope you have got enough information about this package. But don't worry at all. If you have any questions about this tutorial, ask us via support at caeassistant.com.